some people do p- take life a little too seriously sometimes at yeah. the same time. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's true. But yeah, that's what I mean. I don't want to make it trivial, sound trivial either, that we're just here to, to experience it because there usually, like, the whole point of the true will idea is that there is a purpose to why we're here and it's up to us to figure that out. Um, or it's the fun of figuring it out. I personally, I love it. I mean, my girlfriend, for example, is not really philosophical um, in any way, and sometimes she's like, well, how can you just think about this stuff all the time? Like, doesn't it bother you that there is no answer? And it's like, no, that's the point of it, that there is no answer, and that I can keep thinking about it forever and ever, and it's so freaking awesome for that reason. Like, as long as I'm constantly thinking about it, I'll, I'll be happy. You know? And the lights are out, and there's no noise, and you start thinking about what does it all mean, why am I here, and, and, and that's so rewarding, even though there's no real reward, the reward is the asking, it is the seeking, it is the, the journey. I think too, as being social creatures, and is being, the individual journey is important, but collectively we make the world better as a whole over time. I mean, considering how far we've come, really, from, you know, a thousand years ago, and how people in general live, and our health, and our... Well, that's true. And I think that's something that, like, we're prone to forgetting, as we were touching on, like, with, you know, people want the answers, and they want it handed to them, and that sort of thing. And I think that's something we've, we we lose easily, is that sense of being an overall community and working towards an overall future, rather than just sort of being concerned about, well, I want to have my own little crux yes. in the world, and I want it to be, you know held up in a safe little jar and not yes. have to, you know. Yeah, but as we do it for ourselves, we're really also doing it for others as well. Whether exactly, yeah. Or whatever, you know, yeah. Whether our community or our children. Or... Well, yeah, and uh, again, as I stated earlier, um, no one can do it for us. But at the same time, we can help each other along the way. Exactly. So... Yeah, Personally, I'm focused on my own progress, and mm-hmm. if I can help other people raise to that level too, then I'm willing to do so. But yeah, that's being in community with one another. Exactly, but I I, I shouldn't sacrifice my own progress either for someone exactly. else, and I shouldn't expect someone else to do it for me. No, exactly. What were you about to say? Sorry. When they said the answer to the universe was 42, nobody understands why it's 42. <laughs> and if they had to figure it out themselves, <laughs> they might understand it. That's true. <laughs> yeah, well, that was, that was, that, the, the, the lesson I learned from that in Hitchhiker's Guide was uh, it took them decades or centuries or whatever it was. 10,000 years or something. Yeah, 10,000 yeah, years ridiculous. to figure out the answer to the great question. Yeah. And once they figured it out, they forgot what the question was. Oh, they didn't have the question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they weren't specific enough about it. So. And that's the way it is. Okay, anyway. Are we out of time? I think so. Oh, everybody seems to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. Well, thank you very much for listening to my oh, ramblings. Oh, it's very interesting. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, what